بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پروڈکٹ اینڈ ڈسٹریبیوشن اسٹریٹجیز چیپٹر نمبر 12 پارٹ 2 لرننگ ابجیکٹیوز آر آؤٹ لائن اینڈ بریفلی ڈسکرائب ایچ آف دا میجر کمپوننٹس آف این افیکٹو ڈسٹریبیوشن اسٹریٹجی سیکنڈ ڈسٹنگوش بٹوین دا ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف ہول سیلنگ انٹرمیڈیریز تھرڈ ڈسکرائب the various types of retailers and identify retail strategies and the fourth one is identify the various categories of distribution channels and discuss the factors that influence channel selection distribution strategy distribution strategy deals with the marketing activities and institutions involved in getting the right good or service to the firm's customers. Marketing channels are made up of retailers and wholesalers that move the product through the channel to the customers. So distribution channel is a path through which products and legal ownership of them flow from producer to consumers or business users. Physical distribution is actual movement of products from producer to consumer or business users. Distribution channels. No one distribution channel fits every product. Marketers must select which channel will be fit, will, will best fit the firm and the product's needs along with their customer needs. Consumer products, business goods and services may move through a direct channel from producer to the consumer or a channel with multiple intermediaries. If you look at this uh, exhibit, you will see consumer goods and the first one is uh, from producer to consumer channel one. It is moved, the product is moving directly towards consumer. In channel two, producer, retailer and consumer. Retailer is playing a role of intermediary in it. And in channel four, you can see producer, wholesaler, retailer and then consumer. And in channel 4, you can see producer, agent, broker, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. So same is the case with the business goods. And But when you look at the services, service provider and consumer or business user, no, no intermediary is involved in the service provider. Sometimes in service provider, broker is involved between consumer and business user. Distribution channels using marketing intermediaries. Direct channel may be simple, but there are many benefits to using marketing intermediary. It is not true that middlemen add cost. Marketing intermediaries often lower the cost to consumers. Wholesaler can also add significant value to purchasing process. Distribution channel means that there is a direct uh, contact between producer and consumer, most common in B2B, but often found in marketing of relatively expensive complex products that require demonstration. Internet is, is helping companies distribute directly to consumer market. Distribution channels using marketing intermediaries. Uh, producers distribute products to wholesalers and retailers inexpensive products sold to thousands of consumers in widely scattered locations lower cost of goods to consumer by creating market utility marketing intermediaries so the main role of marketing intermediary is reducing the number of transactions required by consumer because they consolidate the locations where consumer can purchase goods. It is obvious in this figure. Wholesaling. Wholesaling means wholesaler is a wholesaler is a distribution channel member that sells primarily to retailers other wholesalers are business users. So manufacturer own wholesaling intermediaries are existing in the world right now, which mean this manufacturer own wholesaling intermediary can be owned by manufacturer of goods or products to control distribution or customer service. 
uh, it can help sales branch that stocks products and fills orders from inventories and sales office that takes orders but does not stock but does not stock the product so this is uh, these are few functions of wholesaling retailers retailer is a channel member that sells goods and services to individuals for their own use rather than for resale uh, retailer is a final link of distribution channel so there are two types of retailing store and non store retailing non store retailing direct response retailing internet retailing or american merchandising direct selling these are four types of non store retailing internet retailing means it is it, it can be clarified with this example sales through virtual uh, storefronts web based web based sellers and websites of brick and mortar retailers automatic merchandising the example of automatic merchandising is sales of such consumer products is candy soft drinks ice ice chewing gum ice cream chewing gum sandwiches etc uh, through vending machines direct selling direct manuf direct uh, selling means that direct manufacture to consumer sales through party plans sales through and and direct contact by anywhere a company directly sells its products to the final consumer direct response retailing means sales through catalogs telemarketing magazine newspapers and television ads etc retail stores so although there is growth in internet retailing store retailers still outpace non store retailing models the types of retail stores range from specialty store convenience store discount store uh, warehouse club factory outlet supermarket super center and department store wheel of retailing it, this if, if you look into the history of retailing it is obvious that late 1980s department stores emerged and then in early 90s self convenience and then mid 90s supermarkets emerged and early 2000 internet retailers has emerged so retailers go through constant change new retailers enter the market by offering low price made possible through uh, through reductions in service most of these changes go through a wheel platform how retailers compete retailers must choose merchandising a customer service pricing and location strategies that will attract customers in their target market segments determining the right level of customer service to maximize sales and profits pricing strategies pricing strategies will be based on the cost of purchasing cost of purchasing products from other channel members and offering services to customers can play a major role in customer perception choosing the location depends on the retailer size retailers must identify the target market evaluating the size and profit potential of the chosen market segments retailers must select a product strategy determining the right mix of product categories and product lines retailer must build a promotional strategy advertising and other promotions to stimulate demand and to provide information store atmospheres are the physical characteristics of a store and and its amenities so this this aids in creating a store atmosphere retail locations so it can be planned shopping center shopping mall regional mall lifestyle mall a planned shopping center is a group of retail stores retail stores planned coordinated and marketed is a unit is a unit to shoppers in a geographical trade area location selection has seen a shift to smaller centers name brand outlet centers 
and lifestyle standards open air complexes containing retailers that often that often focus on specific shopper segments and product interest distribution channel decisions and logistics so few questions that require answer what specific channel will it use what might be the level of distribution intensity so every firm must choose how to distribute its goods and services they must decide what channels they will use and what the degree of intensity will be in each channel there are some common ideas regarding complex standardized and startup products selecting distribution channels complex expensive custom made or uh, perishable products move through shorter distribution channels involving few or no intermediaries while standard standardized products or items with low unit values usually pass through relatively long distribution channels startup companies often use direct channels because they can't persuade intermediaries to carry their products or because they want to extend their sales reach distribution intensity retailers are carefully selected to enhance the product's image to ensure that well that well trained personnel will contribute to customer satisfaction distribution intensity is the number of intermediaries or outlets through which a manufacturer distributes its goods so that can be intensive distribution selective distribution or exclusive distribution intensive distribution is when firms products in in nearly every available outlet requires cooperation of many intermediaries selective distribution means manufacturer selects limited number of retailers to distribute its product line while exclusive distribution limits market coverage in a specific geographical region comparison of transportation modes a major aspects of logistics is transportation which mode of transportation will be most appropriate for our product channel and customer needs so mode can be truck rail water air pipeline etc customer service customer service is vital component of both product and distribution strategies although a firm will set its own customer service standard the customer set its own standard too so customer service standards measure the quality of service a firm provides for its customers warranties are a firm's promises to repair a defective product refund money paid or replace a product if it proves unsatisfactory internet retailers have worked to humanize their customer interactions and deal with complaints more effectively summary so in 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 this part we have tried to briefly describe each of the major components of an effective distribution strategy and and this 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 part of Uh, the chapter distinguish between the different types of wholesaling intermediaries and i have tried to describe the various type of retailers and identify retail strategies and lastly uh, this this lecture identify the various categories of distribution channel and discuss the factors that influence channel selection thank you that's all for today class thank you